guys, it's Steph here. I'm gonna be planting a Himalayan Carl Fuchs cedar today. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put it, why I'm putting it here, and how adding evergreens to your yard is gonna add such a dramatic focal point. It's gonna add privacy, and it's just gonna add so much interest and contrast throughout the winter time. So let's take a look at this tree. I'll talk about it a little bit, and then we'll start planting it. So I wasn't originally gonna buy this tree. We took it to a landscape project without asking the owners if they really loved it. We brought it to them. We thought it would be a nice accent vertical interest point for the front of their house. Turns out the owners did not love the shape of this. It was a little bit too wacky for them. For me, I absolutely love it because I think it has so much character. So now I get to reap the benefits. We brought it home and I found a spot for it. So as you can see, the needles are really tightly packed. And so you're gonna see a lot of the tree structure. In winter time, it's gonna have this beautiful blue green foliage and then in springtime it comes out really blue so it has a lot of ornamental interest. So I wanted to show you the tag. This Carl Fuchs says it gets about 12 to 15 feet tall to four to six feet wide at its mature size. So in my climate that's going to be a little bit more realistic. It'll probably get a little bit bigger than that but it's kind of a slow grower. So in the ideal climate, it's gonna get much bigger than that. So they're gonna see labels that are all, all over the place when you look at them, especially online. So you kind of have to understand your climate and where you're planting this evergreen to see how big it's actually gonna get. So there's so much variable with it, I can't really tell you exactly, but I am gonna give enough space right along here to make sure that it can spread up to 10 feet wide and it's gonna get up to probably 20 feet to 25 feet tall at maturity but that won't be for a very long time. I also know that with this tree, I can prune it a little bit. If, if in 20 years I feel like it's outgrowing its space, then I'll just trim, trim it up really carefully. But other than that, there are a few other features with this tree that I'm really excited about. It has an upright pyramidal form. As it matures, those branches are kind of layered and they gracefully fall just slightly. So it's a really decorative cool tree. Let's get it in the ground. I'm just gonna have it on my north side right here. So it's gonna get a little bit of shade, but it's far enough out here where most of it's gonna get sun. And back on my back porch right here to give you a little perspective. So this is a perfect spot for some privacy because we're always hanging out back here and Hopefully one day we'll have our hot tub right here that we have ready and stubbed for winter time. And then when all these deciduous leaves start to fall, that's gonna be really exposed. So it's gonna be nice to have that privacy. I dream big, I have all these plans. Whether they happen or not, it's, it's really fun. So I'll just keep it going. The hole is dug. I dig it about twice as wide as the container pot. But what I do a little bit differently is when I put it in the holes, this is highly recommended for all of your trees, is I'm not gonna do it quite as deep as the container pot. It's gonna be slightly above the soil. And that's about it. Pretty simple steps. We'll get this in the ground. You could put some root, root stimulator. Just make sure you give it a nice soaking. And then I'll create a little well around the tree to make sure the water stays in there. Since this is a smaller tree, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the entire ball and burlap. With the bigger trees, I'd leave on some of them just because they need more support when they're starting to get established, especially with the wind. Um, it's settling into the soil, just a lot of different factors. At this point, I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and vertical on each side. And then I'm gonna decide which is the best front facing side where I'm gonna wanna see it the most. So where is that gonna be? I'm thinking maybe on this side is where I want the prettiest angle. So that looks straight. I wish you guys could talk to me directly. <laughs> I could really use the help. And then I think that looks good. Just one more angle over here. I haven't come over here yet. Yeah, everything looks straight. When you get in here, you just wanna make sure you tamp that soil down so it's nice and firm. It's planted. Isn't that such a dramatic transformation? Just adding one evergreen right here. Here's my little well. So at this point, I'm just gonna water like crazy. So it's getting a lot hotter. It's about 100 degrees now. Uh, it's getting harder to work out here in the yard. So I'm gonna be watering this a lot throughout winter, depending on how dry it is. So I'll play it by ear, but it's really gonna be fun to see this grow into its graceful form. And I'm so excited to have all this privacy. I hope you guys like this highlight and thanks for supporting my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day gardening. We'll talk to you later. Bye.